What's going on guys? So it's about 6, you know, 58 degrees outside. We just got over a little cold spell. And uh, don't really know what I'm going to find today, but I'm going to give it a shot. But I just want to say if you're brand new to this channel and you like herping videos, daily herping videos, because apparently that's what I'm doing now, then be sure to subscribe. Let's we'll see what we can find today. Hopefully something. At least salamanders. I like to find a snake though. So I'm back out here at the spot where... Lucas and I found that queen snake. It's kind of what I'm hoping for. Queen snake or a northern. All those rocks and stuff have dried up a bit more. So, even though it's a little bit cool, fingers crossed. Well, I didn't find anything over there. But I was sitting right there on that dock, and when this water's so low, I was looking along these banks, and I was noticing spots like right over there on that point where that tree is. Seeing how it is low now, Whenever the water gets back up, I know there's going to be bass and stuff there. And it reminded me of that herping tip video that I did uh, for you guys. And use that kind of example for going out when everything's kind of dead to figure out really good herping spots before it gets overgrown. Perfect example is this bank. Say like I'm a fisherman, you know, you want to take a picture of this bank or for me video. I know on that point there's trees and stuff like that, a lot of cover for bass. So I know probably whenever I come out here and fish, then I'm going to be thrown over there to try to catch some bass because there's a lot of good cover over here. It's a little point, it kind of drops off a little bit deeper than it does over here. Um, different things like that. So when you're laying out boards and tin around the waterways, it only makes sense that you would do it around these areas where you look under the embankment. Spots like right in here or any little gap area where the snake, like water snakes, could go up under for cover and hide chances are that they're going to be around that area so if you lay out boards and tin right around in here or for a better example so if I were to lay out boards and tin to try to attract some water snakes around the water's edge I'd lay them right up around in this area because right up under here all these places for these snakes to come in here root systems that love root systems all these little spots right up in here for these water snakes, once they go out to eat, come back in, seek some shelter. They want to warm up, go up on the bank, get up under some boards, and warm up. So, just makes sense. So that's a little tip for you guys. Well, uh, he definitely found another part of the bank where it gets rocky and a little bit steeper. So, taking a lot of fishing mental notes and herping mental notes. Cause, and there's a trail that runs along it too, so that's good. A lot of places on these banks and perfect spots out here just to lay some boards. So, if you can get some boards to lay, we'll be in the game. Lo and behold, found a little uh, lead phase zigzag, looks like. That is super cool. Where you going, buddy? What are you doing? Uh, you are too cool. You're adorable. Alright, I'll let you go. Stop freaking out. Love these guys. It's crazy that coloration they have on their head. Really cool. Alright. Flip this rock here. And then found this little guy. <laughs> so they're out. That's good. Let's take some pictures of this guy. And, uh, yeah, get back at it. So, real quick, I'm thinking about creating, because you know I have my Instagram account linked in the description below. Um, thinking about creating a new one. Um, something having to do with herp in Tennessee. Where I just post all my pictures of the herps that I find here in Tennessee on there. So you guys let me know what you think about that in the comments. I'm going to mull it over tonight and think on it. But, yeah. I think it'd be pretty cool. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. Kind of short, I know. But uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that Instagram idea. And I'm going to get home, do some editing. And I reckon I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button and check out one of my videos. On, that pop up at the end right here, I think. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.